This is Ian Pretty from the Retro Computer Shack. In this video I'll show you how to connect a Sinclair ZX Spectrum Next Kickstarter 1 or Kickstarter 2 model computer to a CRT type TV using my RGB SCART lead. The Sinclair Spectrum Next already has a very high quality digital video output via HDMI. So if you want to connect to a modern TV with HDMI or a monitor, that's the video output you would use. However, if you want a more authentic gaming experience connecting to the old style CRT type TV, you will have to use the RGB video out. If you've got a VGA monitor CRT type, which will work with the uh, video frequencies that this, the next outputs, then you can just use a VGA lead to a VGA monitor. However, for this video, we're going to connect to a, a CRT type TV via the SCART socket. We'll just um, connect the uh, SCART socket up first, and then we'll connect the computer up. For those that are not familiar with the SCART socket, that's basically what it looks like, nothing exciting. It'll only fit in one way and it doesn't uh, lock in place. It's, uh, oh, there we go, lost this thing. It's, um, it's always a little bit wobbly. It doesn't lock in place, but that's normal. It's quite secure. Next, we'll connect the uh, computer end up. So all we've got at this end is the uh, VGA connector which in this case has been used as RGB. The locking posts on either side of the connector aren't supplied with either the Kickstarter 1 or Kickstarter 2 models of computer. Um, however, when you buy my uh, RGB SCART lead, I provide the locking posts as well. You don't have to fit them. All it does is secure the connector in place. But um, it's quite a snug fit without, the, um, without uh, screwing up the thumb screws but I will just connect those for this video. Okay, then the only other thing is we've got the short audio cable which goes into the audio out on the back of the Spectrum Next. That just simply takes the audio out and sends it through the lead into the TV. Okay, one more connection and that's the uh, power on this one. Okay, make sure you've got the, I'll just switch that light out. Make sure you've got the SCART input selected on your TV. This one's already switched on and the AV input is already selected, which on the most, on, most Sony's with one SCART, it's just AV1. So that's switched on. So now we need to switch the Spectrum Next computer on whilst holding down the R key, R for RGB which basically selects the RGB mode on the computer. So I'll hold the R key down, switch on, and just keep it pressed until it brings up the uh, test screen. There we go. Now I'll just switch that light out. The rolling screen you see is normal. It, the bar, it's basically just to do with the way the TV scans and the video camera scans and they conflict. Now this is a TV, uh, a PAL TV, so it's 50 hertz in the UK. As you see, it's just selected 60. So you need to select the mode which is best for your TV. So I'm going to go to 50 hertz uh, without the scan doubler. So the scan equals one, not two. And then press enter to select it and then it will just reboot in IGB mode. So we'll just bring that, oh, I'll just um, connect a joystick up as well, just to port one, just to make it easier to select the menus. Uh, like I say, these borders and all these artifacts, you won't actually see on the CRT screen. It looks nice and clear. Once I've got uh, a game up in a darker background, it uh, will look uh, more like it should do when you're looking at the actual screen. I'll just load up Warhawk from uh, Rusty Pixels, which is a great shoot em up. It's also got a black background, which will uh, allow you to get a better idea of what the actual screen looks like. And you can see most of the uh, rolling screen. You'll still see various vertical lines and things, but like I say, most of those won't show on the CRTV. So you should get a nice clear picture, nice stable, 
and uh, good quality sound and the colours are nice and vivid. A little bit more paler on the uh, when you're actually viewing it on the video. It looks actually more much better on the CRT. So I'll just have a, a little quick bit just to give you a bit more idea of the colours and the quality. Just bring that out a bit. And that's about it. For most people it's as simple as that. Um, if there's any problems, if you click on more below the video and I will uh, leave all the links to the SCART lead and all the various other information. Well, I hope you find that useful. That's about it for that video and um, I'll be back with more.